Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I just want to make a quick little video to help you guys out who are trying to overclock your graphics cards and trying to get the best performance out of it. Uh, you know, recently I bought a 1080 Ti Black Edition and uh, it was running kind of slow on the my games. I was like, what the hell's going on? This is a 1080 Ti it's supposed to be, uh, you know, giving me that those beautiful frames and running nice and smooth. Uh, so... Uh, I want to show you guys this overclocking software on uh, the EVGA Precision X1 and then taking that that same uh, uh, voltage frequency curve that you get from the automatic overclocking software that NVIDIA just released. It's brand new from here and moving it over to MSI Afterburner because, uh, you know, MSI Afterburner is a lot more user friendly and also this... Uh, EVGA Precision X1, it still has some issues and bugs that some of you might be experiencing. So hopefully this video will uh, help some people out. So first, so let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is the brand new, uh, you know, the Precision X1 that came out with the uh, RTX uh, graphics cards. It automatically will overclock your, your RTX uh, graphics card, but it also works for the Pascal. So if you have a GeForce GTX, like a 1070, for example, or a 1080 Ti or a 1060, uh, if you really want to get the most out of your card, what you want to do is you open this program up, you press scan, and then it, it about and then it'll take 15 minutes and it'll create for you a voltage frequency curve where it fine tunes the voltage across each frequency so that you have the perfect amount of electricity going to your fan to cool your card and the rest of the energy goes straight to your chip to, to boost up your core clock. So this uh, voltage frequency curve tuner is very, very good. Um, and, you know, and this is a, a you know, a very nice, uh, you know, presentation and everything. Uh, some people have issues saving with the profiles. I know that there's some bugs that some people experience with this. So basically, this video, I want to show you guys how to take this uh, voltage frequency curve tuner and basically just bring it over to MSI Afterburner. Because MSI Afterburner, I'm sure a lot of you may uh, feel like I do. And a lot of you probably like uh, MSI Afterburner because it's a lot more user friendly and it's easier and there's no bugs. There's no nonsense. So uh, here we go. Uh, what you got to do is go to local disk, program files, x86, right? Open up MSI Afterburner, click bundle. Make sure that you, you uh, downloaded the newest update, the this uh, 4.60 beta. This is a brand new software that NVIDIA just came out with. Uh, so, it, and it's really going to help you get the most out of your cards, guys. I, I guarantee you, you're going to see an amazing uh, increase in the performance. So, you go to this... Uh, this this application right here, right? Open this up, and what, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna you're gonna press the exact same thing that we did on the uh, on the Precision X1, right? That voltage frequency curve that I showed you guys earlier. That that curve. You're gonna you're gonna press scan, and it's gonna create a voltage frequency curve for you. And if you guys see in, in my profile. I got curve right there because I ran the the scan already. After you run the 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 scan, it's it's going to it's it's going to give you a a voltage frequency curve that's going to increase your core clock. So instead of you having to overclock your core clock, it'll just be the curve. And then you can uh uh, uh overclock your memory. I would I suggest that you put the memory overclock that you want before you press scan so that the voltage frequency curve can be tuned with your memory clock already set in as well as your power limit temperature limit and core voltage have everything like as if you were going to boot up into your favorite game you know like for me it would be you know grand theft auto okay have it all ready to go like okay these are my settings this is the my the, the the memory clock i want this is my temperature limit that i want my power limit my core voltage i want and then have it uh have the uh the the overclocking scanner create for you your voltage frequency uh curve and then you so you're going to press scan you're going to wait for 15 minutes it's going to it's going to give you the curve okay and then you're going to press test as uh after you, you take the test, it should say 90% level of confidence, and then you're ready to go. 
So yeah, I highly recommend that you guys do this. You guys should all do this uh, voltage frequency uh, overclock scanner, whether on MSI Afterburner or EVGA Precision X1. Uh, I just showed you guys how to do it in MSI Afterburner because it's, you know, MSI is a lot, you know, cooler and friendlier, user friendly and everything. And also has, it's cleaner, like there's no bugs, like buggy issues with the uh, EVGA Precision X1. But doing this uh, automatic overclock scanner on either one, either app, uh, it's really going to improve your card's performance dramatically and you're going to see it. So I recommend that everybody do this to get the most out of your card. Really, like it's it's absolutely incredible. I had a you know my my 1080 Ti, I have I got the Black Edition uh, a reference card actually Black Edition not even the 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 Super Clock uh, Black, but but a Black Edition reference card. It was so weird from like EVGA and the frame rates were low. I was so pissed. I was like, oh my god, this freaking thing is not even running like my old 1070 used to. I was pissed, and now I just you know did this uh, this curve uh, cork. Uh, this this uh, voltage frequency curve for the core clock, you know what I'm saying? And now my my 1080 Ti, man, it's it's fucking it's singing, it's just blowing those beautiful uh buttery smooth frames at me. So best of luck to all you guys. I hope somebody can uh, take this video and uh, hopefully this helps some some of you guys out. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Have fun.